Hello everyone, we are going to learn how to construct a frequency distribution and a histogram using R. On the screen, we have returns of two mutual funds, growth and value. The growth funds invest in companies whose stock prices are expected to grow at a faster rate relative to the overall stock market. Value funds, on the other hand, invest in companies whose stock prices are below their true worth. The main component of investment return is through capital appreciation in growth funds and through dividend income income in value funds. So we are going to construct a histogram and frequency distribution for these funds. And first we are going to set our directory in R. Set working directory, choose directory and R videos, click open. And next we are going to import the data. My data is equal to read.csv and in quotation mark growth underscore value dot csv and then control enter. Now we have the data on the screen. We have 35 observations and three variables. Next, we are going to define the intervals using seg function. So let's create an object called intervals is equal to seq and open the parentheses. First argument in this function is the lower limit of the first interval. The lower limit is minus 50 and the next argument is the upper limit of the last interval which is 100 and the last argument defines the width of each interval by is equal to 25 and then control enter. So under environment pane you can see the intervals object. We then use the cut function with left and right options to ensure that intervals are open on the left and close on the right. So we want to create the following interval. Negative 50 is smaller than x smaller than equal to negative 25. So in order to create this interval, as you see, this interval is open on the left and close on the right because there is a smaller than equal to sign here. We will use cut function. So we create a new object called value.cut, which is equal to cut in the parentheses my data and I'm going to choose the value column at the growth one and I'm going to use intervals that I created and for the left it's equal to false because it's open on the left and for the right I'm going to use true and then control enter. As you see we have an object called value.cut under environments pane. We use table function to create a frequency distribution labeled value.frag so let's do that. Value.frag is equal to table and in table we have value.cut and then control enter. We use the view function to create an appealing frequency distribution. So if you just write here value.frag and enter, the table that you see on the console is not very appealing. So we are going to use view and then value.frag instead. And you see we have a better frequency distribution on the screen. We use his function to construct the histogram. We define the breaks option using the intervals that we defined in the previous step. So let's start hist and open parentheses, my data value, comma, and then we use breaks is equal to intervals that we create. Again, we use right option, right is equal to true, so that the intervals are right close. This also implies they are left open. As when constructing a bar chart, R offers a number of options for formatting. Here we use main to add a title. So we type main here, and the title is histogram for the annual returns in percentage for the value fund. Histogram for the annual returns in percentage for the value fund. And then we use xlab to provide a label for the x-axis. xlab is equal to, in quotation mark, annual returns in percentage for value. And then we use the call option to define the color and we are going to choose the color 
Begin. And then close the parentheses. And then control enter. The histogram that R produces can be seen under plots pane. So when you look at this histogram, you realize that the annual returns for value is between negative 50% and positive 50%. And the most likely return for the value is between 0% to 25% interval because the most observations fall in this interval. And now we can do the same exercise for grow 2. We are going to copy paste everything here, but this time we are going to choose here, growth, and then here again growth. We need to change here to growth and here growth as well. So if you run this part, control enter, you will have the same histogram this time for the growth font. And that's how we create frequency distribution and histogram using R. Thank you for watching this video.